Thank you, Craig. Two people are hurt after an SUV crashes into a Fontana home in the middle of the night. KCAL 9's Drew Benedict is live for us this morning in Fontana to tell us exactly what happened. And that damage behind you is so frightening, Joy. It's very frightening, especially when you think that this is a bedroom. This is a child's bedroom. There are two children that stay in here and their parents in this bedroom. The kids were not here at the time of the crash, but nonetheless, the whole is huge and it's just getting better because they now have crews here as you can hear the equipment going on behind me as they are trying to repair it or at least board it up in the meantime but take a look at this video from earlier this morning it was about 3 30. now this is video of the two adults who are staying in this room being rushed to the hospital the good news is we are told that they have bumps and bruises and some broken bones but they are going to be okay their two young daughters who also stay in the room with them were not here at the the time of the crash, so it was just the adults. But the impact of that car slamming into this home through their bed into the kitchen, the kitchen equipment into the living room, really making just a huge mess here. There are nine people who live inside this home, so two different families. Now, the children who also live in this home on the opposite side in the bedroom say they heard the commotion and they didn't know what to think. Like an earthquake, it was bad. I thought somebody was breaking in or I thought it was an earthquake. I was um, sleeping and then um, I just hear a car crash and then and then um, and I got out the window and then I just see a guy right here screaming saying help me and I was like and I got scared and then I just see the cops come. Now that guy that they heard, that is actually the driver of that vehicle. Police have arrested him for driving under the influence. He is in custody here this morning. Police say he lost control of that vehicle and slammed into the car. Now back out here live, you can see that they have the crews up here. They're trying to shore up this home, but it is unlivable. So the families that live here, as I mentioned, nine people, two separate families are going to have to find somewhere else to go. The owner of the here, that the owner of the property who rents it out is here and he's trying to find a hotel for his tenants, but nonetheless, just a very frightening situation to think it's 3.30 in the morning, you're asleep, and all of a sudden a car comes crashing into your bedroom. It is clear to see that this could have been so much worse, so everyone here is really just thankful that we're just dealing with broken bones in this situation, guys. All right. Thank you, Joy.